Hey guys, it's the one it is here. Welcome back to episode five of the Game Maker tutorial series. So yeah, um, yesterday I was kind of busy because my university like referral submission handing date was today, and I had a lot of work to do, so I couldn't actually produce a tutorial. Um, but yeah, what I've got planned for this week is a uh, sprite animation. Now. Sprite animation is a crucial feature within all video games that are like 2D video, like 2D based. Um, but sprite animation can also have an impact on 3D video games. So, say for example, if you fire a gun, um, there needs to be an animation of that flame popping out of the gun in the first place. So that's where sprite animation comes in. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to be covering today is sprite animation in Game Maker, and it's relatively easy to do. Um, and I've just composed a small project here, um, and it's actually based off of my game I coded for my previous topic, or unit, should I say, in my uni work entanglement. Um, now, I'm actually going to be reproducing this game. Um, that's just one thing I want to point out. I'm going to be reproducing it in my own spare time using resources I've created pure myself. Um, the problem was um, I can't actually commercially sell this game because I've produced it using resources that are technically owned by the college in a way. So I don't want to run into legal issues and like intellectual property rights, that sort of stuff. Um, Anyway, yeah, down to the tutorial business stuff. Um, I've got a tank here, and it's just an object, and it's got a basic sprite and a turret. Um, in the create event, it creates an instance of a turret object, um, because that's a separately control well, controlled object. And there's two other events, there's a step event and begin step event. Um, begin step event occurs before the game step, obviously, and step event is just as the step occurs. Um, and these both execute code, so in the begin step, uh, all it does is register key presses. So I've got W equals keyboard check or W, um, same for S, A and D. Um, which I covered in the um, previous tutorial. So, going back to the step event, uh, we've just got some basic motion. So, if the player, well, if the player, sorry, is pressing A, um, the image angle will be incremented by 2. Um, and don't forget that, yeah, all things in computing work anti clockwise, it's weird. Um, so, bearing in mind I'm pressing A on my keyboard. Um, you'd think it'd rotate clockwise, but it actually rotates anti-clockwise, I believe. Um, and yeah, LSFD, um, oh, correct me if I'm wrong about that, by the way, but we'll test it out in a minute, so I'm not actually 100% positive about that. Um, yeah, LSFD, um, image angle, minus equal to, so that's going to be decrementing to every time you hold D down, like in a game step. And then to do the motion of a tank, um, it sets the direction to image angle. Uh, notice it, it down here, motion I set direction speed. Um, and then the speed parameter is W minus S. So that's if you press pressing both of them down, we're subtracting one another. Um, but minus S means that you're actually reversing. So if you hold S, you reverse. If you hold W, uh, you go forward. And obviously, to give that um, that vector magnitude, uh, we're times in it by 2.5 here. So that's actually setting the speed of the tank, in a way. Um, going over to the object turret event, um, all this does is set the location of the turret every game step, in the begin step, should I say, uh, to the location of tank, dot x and y. Um, I'll talk about coordinates of the turret in a bit. Um, and it also sets the image angle to point in the direction of the mouse. So, mouse coordinate of X and Y. Um, so, I'll just hit play and run this for you very quickly. Um, but we're going to get into the stuff in a minute. So, yeah, I've got my basic tank and it points the turret in the direction of my mouse. And I can control it all left and right on my keyboard. So, yeah. And notice how I'm holding A, it's actually like decrementing. Uh, or incrementing, sorry, and it, yeah, like D is decrementing. So, yeah. Right. So, anyway, let's get to the actual sprite animation. Um, obviously, in your sprite properties, uh, you click either load sprite or edit sprite. In this instance, I'm going to click load sprite. Um, now, we're going to actually need two sprites to do this job, so what I'm going to do 
Um, I'm going to duplicate the sprite and it's going to be called SPR underscore tank underscore turn, like that. Um, and it's going to be okay. Let's just get the forward tank sorted first. So, to do animation, click world sprite, like that. And I've got the sprites already built here because I've pre designed them. Um, so just get your sprites. I've got four forward sprites and four turning sprites. Uh, literally all they do is alter the caterpillar track location. So hit open on that. Um, and then I want to click edit sprite. Notice how my center is actually slightly off because that's uh, depending on the direction of the tank itself. But um, to change the rotation of your sprites just hit transform, rotate and rotate them by 90 degrees. Hit OK and that's basically fixed but so now if we click edit sprite and then show preview notice how it's an animated sprite that's displaying it in 30 frames a second uh, but I'll change that to 60 and notice how that's a bit too fast so you leave that at 30 well I'm going to leave that at 30 but it depends on what sprite you're doing um, okay and let's get the turn of sprite sorted so world sprite same thing again just get the turn sprite like that okay now, one thing to note is that the tank in the animation is turning left, but we're going to sort that out. So, um, quick edit sprite, transform, uh, rotate, 90, okay. And notice how one's going forward and one's going back. So, um, yeah, in this instance, the tank is actually turning left. So, right then. So, now what I want to do is go back to my object event and in the step event so here's where it gets interesting so what I'm doing there is incremented the image angle so that's actually turning the tank but uh, let's just uh, animate the sprite so the first thing you want to do is actually determine which way it's going now when you press A it turns left so uh, we need to actually assign that specific sprite to the tank. So uh, we're going to type sprite underscore index and that's going to equal uh, spr underscore tank underscore turn, like that. So that's going to set the sprite index to the turning tank sprite. Um, the next thing it needs to do is set the image underscore speed to 1. Now what that do it? Well, that's actually animating the sprite for us, um, and we also need something else in here. Uh, if you type else like that, open bracket image underscore speed equals zero. So um, if you're not actually pressing anything, then that sprite will not animate. So that's what that's essentially there for. Um, so that's setting the tank to turn. Uh, and we need to turn the other way now when you press D. So sprite underscore index equals SPR underscore tank underscore turn. Like that. But if the image speed in this instance, so this is where it gets interesting, needs to be set to minus one, like that. Because that is reversing the actual sprite animation sequence and that makes it appear as if it's turning the other way. Um, so that's fine the way it is um, and we also need something else in here. Uh, we need to put else if uh, I believe hmm. Maybe it should go under a separate if statement. Um, if W, like that, open bracket, uh, sprite underscore index. Uh, oh, actually, no, no, wait, I don't think we need to do that. Um, just set that to sprite underscore index equals SPR tank forward like that. What that's doing, that's setting the sprite index to tank forward so it's it's not actually doing anything like when it's like not when you're not pressing a key for example. 
Oh, right then. Sorry about that, everyone. I just had to, like, look at my previous code I've written for this because, um, it's not necessarily a problem with the code I'm writing, it's just the way I'm implementing it that, that was a problem. Um, it was because, say for example, you hold two keys down at once, it doesn't know which one to select because it's going through a bunch of if statements. Um, but, um, you've just got to think about the configurations that the, like, the key presses can be in. So, say for example, you're pressing not W and not S, and you're pressing A and D at the same time, the image speed is zero. Um, if you pray, well, pressing W and not S, but A and D, the total sum of that is you're going forward, because A and D equals zero. Um, yeah, why like not W and S and A and D. Uh, else if A, else if D, um, then else if W and S, so you're not going forward or back, but nothing else is pressed, image speed is not, else if W, else if S. Um, it's the same code essentially as what I wrote just a couple of seconds ago, um, but it just optimises the way you press the keys a little bit better and thinks about all the different, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, all the different configurations you can put your keys in. So, yeah, I'll just run a test of this quick. But that is the basis of what sprite animation is all about. So, like, you've got the left animation when I'm turning left, uh, right animation when I'm turning right. I wonder if I can actually enlarge that just so you can, like, uh, see a bit better. Um, image underscore x scale equals 2.5 and image underscore y scale equals 2.5 that's actually increasing the size of the sprite by 2.5 times so um, I'll do the same for the turret as well in the create event um, there we go and <laughs> God, scale and stuff. Oh, there we go. So you can actually see the sprite being animated a bit better now. Um, but yeah, that's just an example of sprite animation for you all. I hope you found it useful. Um, yeah, like sprite animation is really important in like video games. So, um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, everyone. Please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. But of course, peace out, and I'll see you in the next one.